Association. With a week to go until the start of training camp, there remains a $14 million gap in contract talks between restricted free agent Tristan Thompson and the Cavaliers, sources told our Brian Windhorse. Sources say the Cavs have held firm at an offer of five years and $80 million, while Thompson is looking for a max contract of $94 million over that same span. If no deal is reached, by the end of the week, Thompson may sign the Cavs' one-year qualifying offer of $6.9 million to become an unrestricted free agent. So his agent, Rich Paul, told ESPN last month that if Thompson signs the one-year qualifier, he will not resign with the Cavs long-term in 2016. Stephen it. what's going on? <clears throat> what's going on is this. Tristan Thompson is 24 years of age, played exceptionally well, come to playoffs, particularly the finals. He was a rebounding demon. And he has sat around while other folks have been taken care of. You've got a $14 million difference or so is being reported. Mm -hmm. You made sure Iman Shumpert got his 40 plus million. You made sure to re-up Timothy Moskov. Uh, obviously Kyrie Irving as well as he should have even beforehand got his 90 million. But more importantly, you gave Kevin Love $110 million. Now, you could have kept Kevin Love for less than that. You didn't have to go out and give Kevin Love Questionable knees, questionable back, 110 to $113 million. Why did you? Nobody is arguing with the fact that you have to keep Kevin Love. You let go of Andrew Wiggins, who has a lot of promise and seems to be on the rise and stardom seems to be in his future. But the flip side to it is that you didn't have to take care of Kevin Love the way you took care of Kevin Love. And so when you look at it from that perspective, you have to ask yourself, why is that? It's because promises were made to Kevin Love, and they were obviously being kept because he seems to be David Griffin's kind of guy, whatever that means. Me personally, I like David Griffin. I think he's done a good, good, I think he's done a really good job as the general manager for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Not that fond of his owner, Dan Gilbert, but Dan Gilbert does cut the checks, and he's unapologetic about doing so, so I will give him credit for that. But I do believe that a legitimate argument could be made, and here's where the big picture lies. Tristan Thompson in this situation right now is not about Tristan Thompson. I think it's about the legacy of LeBron James in Cleveland. And here is why I say that. LeBron James' long-term deal comes up next year. He's due for that. No matter what max dollars he's getting for this upcoming season, what max dollars he got last season, they clearly still had enough money to take care of Tristan Thompson. You just got to pay more with the luxury tax, okay? You could have chipped a few dollars off of an Iman Shumpert or Kevin Love. Uh, you didn't do that. You could have treated J.R. Smith a little bit better, even though he was stupid to opt out of his deal to come back for less money. You know, he should. that was bad advice. But when you look at it from the Tristan Thompson perspective, the kid is 24 years of age. He's a rebounding demon. He defends. His offensive skills continue to improve. The upside exists there. Plus, you have paid Love. You played Shumpert. You paid Moskov. And on top of it all, you still paid Anderson Varejao, who is older now, who isn't healthy and whatever. To sit there and say that you can't find the money for Tristan Thompson, the reason why I bring up the legacy of a LeBron James, remember, in the 2006-2007 season, when the Cleveland Cavaliers ended up going to the NBA Finals again the San Antonio Spurs. What did you follow that up with in the years to follow? There was a Wally Zerbiak on the team, a Joe Smith on the team, a, a, you know, an over-the-hill, no disrespect whatsoever, because Stephen A. loves Big Ben and Wallace, but Ben Wallace, after he was gone from the Detroit Pistons, that wasn't the same Benny Wallace that was in Cleveland. Shaq! You know that's my man. When he was said and done, when he was all said and done, and he was on the verge of retiring. These are the kind of things that you're the Cleveland Cavaliers and you have allowed to happen to LeBron, which precipitated his exit the first time around. So here you are now, you've got Kyrie Irving, all right? You 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 got Tristan Thompson, and you are giving them problems. This is the kind of situation that LeBron points to. And I'm telling you right now, you heard it here first. I'm going to say it again. I warned the city of Cleveland, Ohio, back in 2007. Go look up the interview. They had me interviewed in Cleveland on the radio station in Cleveland, Ohio. And I said to them then, he's leaving. 
Do not doubt this. He's giving you three more years, and then after that, he's gone. And what happened three years later? I broke the story that he's going to South Beach and was crucified for two weeks until it came to be true. I am telling y'all again, LeBron did not promise to stay in Cleveland for the rest of his career. He promised that he was committed to coming back to delivering an NBA championship. Cleveland is one of the favorites this year. If they win this year and he's still having problems with this organization, don't be surprised if he leaves again. I'm not promising you he will leave. I'm telling you LeBron could end up leaving again because of the personnel moves you do make and you refuse to make. I said it before. I'm saying it again. Listen if you want to. Okay, I'm not sure what all that had to do with Tristan Thompson. It has Thompson. everything to do with okay, Tristan Thompson because he's not happy okay. about the fact that they haven't taken care of Tristan Thompson. And then Rich Paul is saying that Tristan Thompson yep. may leave after this year if, you know, if he's forced to sign a one-year tender. But, so but the you're point saying is that if they win a championship, he would leave, right? Right, right. Okay, well, that would be a really good thing for Cleveland, right? I mean, that would be a big thing if they won a championship. Well, they would win a championship, of course, because he's committed to delivering a championship back to the city of Cleveland. Okay. But if you're going to show an unwillingness to keep young horses in mm -hmm. place, okay, and instead bring guys or sign guys to 110 mm -hmm. million with questionable knees and questionable backs and stuff like that, you now have a problem that he doesn't want to stick around and deal with. So the Tristan Thompson thing is important because LeBron wants to keep that guy. People like yourself, me, and others in the NBA community see nothing but upside with this kid. Oh, I love it. And not only that, they you, changed, you, the, he you, changed the way they you, play you basketball. You can't justify not yeah. paying him okay. if you paid the other guys. Had you not paid them, that would be different. Okay. But to not pay him and to pay those other guys, you got a problem. Okay, we're almost out of time, so we might have to save this for another day, but my issues are twofold with this salary structure here. I have no idea why you gave Kevin Love that much money. He's not worth that much money. I think that Tristan is worth $94 million and will be over the long haul. But I still can't, and we, this, we probably don't have time to get into this. I don't know why LeBron would take the max. I keep telling you, Tim Duncan, coming off one of his best years ever, is making $5 million this year. LeBron's making 23. LeBron can make God knows how much money off the court. Why would he insist? I know it's a principal thing with the Players Association that he's got to set the tone from the top. I get all that. But if you really want to win more rings, you take half that and make sure that Tristan, represented by your your representative, is is taken care of. Last point on this matter. You can make that argument like you made against Kobe because you're talking about going outside mm -hmm. to bring another player in and your cap comes yep. into consideration then. With LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers, that's not relevant because you're talking about keeping your own player. And because you're keeping your own player, it's this okay. issue of the luxury tax number, which is offset by the money LeBron brought into the organization by his return. So okay. you can't use that. Okay, but remember, San Antonio has the same issue with trying to keep a Kawhi Leonard, right? Yes. And, and they said, well, we can keep Kawhi because Tim has taken only $5 million Tim, this Tim, year. Tim, Guys, I'm sorry. Tim i got to cut loves. you off, but we might be able to readdress this yeah. Either, yeah. Or later today or right. further in the week because there's so much to get into. More first take after the break. We'll be right back. About the games. I'll admit it. I'm concerned. Um, Teixeira can't seem to get healthy. Uh, Sabathia is not what he used to be. Um, the combination of those two things along with the inconsistent play of a few of their guys. I mean, one minute, uh, Beltron is smacking three run home runs against the Mets. Another minute, he can't get a hit against the Blue Jays. Um, I'm concerned about it. It's not over yet. I haven't given up. I'm still going to believe in my Yankees. I'm going down with the ship. Uh, but I will tell you that I think the thing that concerns me is two things. David Price, who's an absolute stud. Has By the way, where did he go to school? Oh, yeah, Vanderbilt University. I go ahead. Price. Yeah. But Great I will tell you, I, I yeah. love Price, but I will tell you this. His, his level of production since he has arrived in Toronto has been Cy Young material. And when you combine that with the fact that Toronto has been doing what they've been doing without the services of Tulowitzki, I mean, I remember when Toronto lost the game, Boston came back on, on them the other night in the, bottom, in, in, the, in the top of the ninth. I give Toronto a lot of credit. They've been hanging in there, and David Price has been an ace. We'll see what happens tonight with Severino mm -hmm. uh, pitches for the New York Yankees, and Yvonne Nova goes after that. Um, I still think the Yankees can win two of these three games, then they'll only be a game and a half back. Uh, so the jury is still out, but I'll admit that I am a bit concerned. 
your Yankees should be ashamed of themselves if they can't catch the Blue Jays after the Blue Jays lost the primary reason I picked the Blue Jays so to be. Yes. He's, he's gone. I got a Romo-like bad break. They he cracked got, his shoulder blade. They still got Donaldson and Batista huh? and Price. I know, but the Tulo, remember, everything changed when he walked in the door. And now they're four and four since he's been gone, and there's no timetable for him to come back. So all of a sudden, you got the greatest cowboy-like break. <laughs> You, you got my Blue Jays. They're reeling without Tula Whiskey. You What's can't New catch York them. What's New York doing? Listen, yeah. listen, listen. You got yeah. Encarnacion. He's been doing well for them. Plus, Russell Martin is somebody who used to catch for the New York Yankees, so he kind of knows what they do, how they do it. So that certainly helps as well. The Yankees that are, are at decided disadvantages, particularly without Teixeira, um, I recognize that, but they're still in the thick of things. They took two or three from the Mets last weekend. I'm not giving up on my New York Yankees. The jury is still out. We'll see what happens. Well, why don't you just go ahead and say they're going to win the East? Well, I'm worried about them right now. Huh? I thought they were going to win the East. They had a six-and-a-half game lead, and they lost it in 13 days. That's correct. crying out loud. Because of and the so, addition well, starting with Tulowitzki well, that the listen, Blue Jays again, made. But, but again, I think it's the addition of Price. How about that? Price is a stud. He's only got one. He's got like nine and one since he arrived. He only gets to play every stars. five days, no, well, right? He is, well, they yeah. got some bats, and we know they were scoring runs before mm -hmm. Tulowitzki arrived. But now it's even more lethal, and you've got Price shutting people down. Mm. And obviously when you've got a great, great pitcher like Price, it infuses the rest of your pitching staff at least to some degree. So we understand what's going on with Toronto. But again, it's not over so yet. you won't concede, but you won't guarantee that's either, right. right? That is correct. Oh, that's well, a, that's, that's, boy, good, that's going that's way good, out that's, on that one. That's limit. a good way. That's a good yeah. way. See, I haven't backed off my Cowboys. I'm still saying, here we come Super so Bowl, what? right? That's because you are a Cowboy. Oh, okay. I'm not a Toronto yeah, Blue. Right, I'm Cowboy. All right? <laughs> All right, they face off tonight, you guys, in a crucial AL East clash. A-Rod and the Yanks taking on the Blue Jays. That is tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. More first take in a minute.